This is going to be interesting. So I've got a little bit of help, if necessary, with my best Japanese, but very good tempo. Okay. Now, the main, my main comment is that you play very even. The bow speed you play very even, and it should be more flexible, more variety. So, uh, not. So, can you play? So, it should sound more improvised. What's the right word? You know, improvise. Right? Okay. So. Make a nice line. Now, do you like it like this? Yes? Good, okay. <laughs> so. Can you make more of a line? Okay, there were a few bumps. So we go from, okay. So go from here. Go from there.
Sometimes. If you like. I know Bach doesn't mark it, but I think it's, it seems, sounds a bit bare. Maybe you can put a trill there. Save pianissimo. So then you have more bow. Yeah. yeah. Now. Normally, stop the trill. That's better Boeing. This was good. Okay. Now, just a, you like this more. Second time was better. Yes? Mm. Mm, he's thinking. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, There's, now you're, I think it's, I like it much more. And the, the main thing, is that when you have fast notes, yes, these, all the fast notes, not so much pressure. And that's what you're doing much more now. So um, you, you do get Bach played with this very even bow stroke. And again, I hate to put Bach and Beethoven in the same category, but in, in one way they are in the same category. They are two great composers, fantastic composers. But sometimes, again, we make it too serious. You know, 
And I think that this, these movements, it's this one and also... <laughs> Improvise. Finished. <laughs> okay, so I think this first movement is like an introduction to the fugue, fugue that's coming. Okay, so I'd prefer much more if you are more flexible. You're, you're also now warmed up. You see, I mean, he was warmed up, but the first time it's not easy playing in front front of you lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So do you want to play some fugue? Yes. He's ready. Right, here we go. Okay.
theme in a fugue. I think I, I would imagine much more like you're playing an organ. Yes? So you have this little, little flute, little one. And then they change. You know how they do with the organ? Then another. So I think that your, your entries can be more clear. So finish. OK, can you try? So one instrument, flute at the beginning. No. Then a new instrument, OK? Too much. Just a new instrument, no louder. <laughs> Viola. With slow vibrato. Much slower. <laughs> okay, now. Fantastic. Now, these notes. Which sounds right? I give you two possibilities. Or which do you like? Number one or number two? Number one? Number two. Number two. So each time, I think when you have this theme, the 16th notes. Can you play them quicker and lighter? So. Yeah. No, never. That's louder, okay? But always, ba 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 bum beam. Okay? And if you do that, maybe it'll be a little quicker tempo. I thought it was a bit da da dum bum bum bum. <laughs> this is serious music, folks. <laughs> On no account let it dance, because it's Bach and it's a fugue. Okay? No, this is a dance. Okay, so let's dance a little bit. Yeah, maybe yeah. like not. Okay, we don't uh, leave that. Leave that to the Baroque specialists. It's only one stress in the in the fugue. It's only la da da pa pa, and then diminuendo. So up, da 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 pa 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 pa. No more accents. We don't want to know da 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 da.
Okay, so this bit, when you have the dialogue, this lovely bit where it goes. So I think each one of the la da -da should be softer. We hear it already. You don't need to go la da da ba 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 da da ba 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 da da ba. So can you try? So go. Okay, so this should be like Paganini. Not like Bach. Okay? So have fun. You play beautifully. All right? Show off how great you are. Great violinist. Okay?
哒哒滴哒呀。Of key. Right. Finish. Da da da. Bum bum. Away. Da da da. Bum bum.
Very good. OK. OK, so um, we, we don't know too much about the violin history, you know, of performance. I think the great violin masters in the 19th century were playing these pieces. Um, I don't know how they were playing them, but it's amazing to me still that it took Pablo Casals, uh, it was an accident for Pablo Casals in the 1890s to, he was looking for pieces to play, to learn, and he found these um, in, a, in a second-hand shop in, uh, in Barcelona. He found the solo suites of cello by Bach, took them out, and he spent about 10 or 15 years practicing them, and he played them in public for the first time at the beginning of the 20th century. Up to that point, they were used as exercises, believe it or not. These pieces which we consider now to be the pinnacle of the, not only the cello repertoire, but every, every repertoire. So I think for violin also, you know, when you see this piece, right, you understand? Chacon, big piece. Fugue. I think that you should play this fugue just like you play the Chacon. Fantastic um, virtuosity, okay, virtuoso, but playing great music. And I would much rather hear a violinist play virtuoso in a Bach solo sonata than in some piece by Waxman <laughs> or Vinyavsky, all these violin composers which have written millions of pieces, so-called virtuoso. And you see them flying around playing millions of notes and there's really not much music in there. It's just showing off. This has got technique and this is a virtuoso piece and you play fantastically but you've got to really play, right? Good, thank you very much.